In this video, I am going to talk about Microsoft Translator action in Power Automate. So, let's see what all action components are available as a part of translation services. So, I am in make.preview.powerautomate.com. I'll go ahead and create an instant cloud flow and I'll call it as translation securish and I'll keep it manually trigger a flow and this is the manual trigger flow now if I click on add an action and if I just type in translate or translator then I will be able to see a couple of options over here so there is Microsoft translator v2 so let me just put in translator and I can see Microsoft Translator v2 and Microsoft Translator v3. Let's see what this action does. So Microsoft Translator v2, if you see over here, it says uh, it has three uh, basic actions like detect language, translate text, and get language. And we have Microsoft Translator v3, which is the latest version, and it has a whole bunch of new information. But remember, these all things are in preview, so you cannot use it in your you should not use it in your live production application. So there are things like translate rate, cancel translation, get doc status, get document status, get languages, and a lot of things which is not available as a part of Translator v2. But for the purpose of this demo, we are just going to explore Microsoft Translator v2. So to start with the basic, let's first check how many languages are supported. So we'll make use of get languages action. Now here, uh, I've just selected this action and I'll just click on save. Close the scope pilot. And once this uh, flow gets saved, what we are going to do, we are going to run this action. Okay, so let me run this Power Automate flow. I'll click on manual running, sign in using my credentials, run the flow. And post execution, let's evaluate what it has done. So it is a manual trigger flow. So I have triggered it manually and I've clicked on get languages. Now, once you click on get languages, in the status code, it has given me 200. And in the body, it has given me a whole bunch of languages which are supported. Now, the list is comprehensive, like Afrikaans, Amharic, Bosnian, Catalan, German, English. So there's a whole bunch of list which I can see it from here, right? So in the get languages section. So basically, if you want to see how many languages are supported as a part of uh, your implementation, uh, for a language translation uh, service, then you can use get languages control. Now, let me go back. Let's close this. Now, if you click on the setting icon over here, here you can navigate to view all Power Automate setting. And this is the display language, which is English. Uh, and the regional format is Australia. But then if you see this display language over here, there are like so many display languages listed over here. Now, you need not get confused with this display language and the language which is supported by the uh, specific Microsoft Translator V2 control. So there might be an overlap, but this is different to that. So if I click on edit again, I have used this get language control uh, action. Now, if I click on add an action again, and then I'll type translate, then there is uh, a, uh, an action basically, which will uh, allow you to detect the language. So if I click on detect language, then it will ask me for text. Now, let me go to Google Translate and uh, try uh, something in Hungarian, okay? So I'll just say, I'm good. <clears throat> so this is what is written in Hungarian, right? So I'll just copy this Hungarian text and I'll paste this text uh, in the text box. And once that is done, I'll just click on save, close this, close Copilot. And once it is saved, I will just run and see whether it has detected this language correctly or not. So 
it has executed this uh, action so detect language now if i just see in the body in the response i can see that it has successfully uh, taken that text whatever we have specified and it has detected that language as hungarian right so in case in your application if you want to detect the text of what the user types in in the text box then you can use detect language to understand what the user has typed in so this is one of the many control which is available as a part of uh, translation now let me edit this flow again and now use the last one the last option which is translate text now translate text i will be able to translate the text from one language to another okay so in the text i will just type in text i'll say australia has one more goal in olympics now target language the target language code example if you want to use french then you, you need to put fr however you need not remember all this because uh, microsoft has provided you as a nice drop down so if you select from here you can select various supported languages so it's a comprehensive list now these are the language list which gets uh, populated when we ran the command of get language so we have when you executed this we saw the json response and it has listed down whole bunch of uh, languages which are available now let's pick uh, some different language so let me pick up slovenian okay and uh, i will just copy this go to google uh, and then paste this value and then i got this response okay uh, now let's save this So what we're doing, we are translating a text from one language to another. Now that the source language currently it is English. Now, if you do not know what is the source language, then you can use detect language to detect the language, the incoming language uh, as a parameter. And then once that is done, then you can translate the text into the target language of your choice. Now, let me test this manually, test and run the flow countdown and now it has successfully executed the flow now if i click on this translate text box then i should be able to get the response back make you aware about the translation function which is available as a part of microsoft power automate now remember this is a free service <clears throat> so you can use this for your application but then uh, uh, if you want to use uh, like a uh, more professional and paid service, then uh, I would say the next best approach is to use the translation control, which is available as a part of V3. So Microsoft Translator V3. Now Translator V3, if I select the same thing, like say if I select the translate text from Microsoft Translator V3, then as you read over here microsoft azure cognitive services translator lets you translate the text and documents over 100 languages so there's more language support and if i use this control over here so let me select this control over here now here it will ask me for the connection name the translator resource name and the resource key now when we created this uh, translate text uh, action using the translator v2 it didn't ask us for any connection we just gave the connection name and it connected because it was using the free generic key services which has some sort of a throttling limit but if you want to use your own resource created in azure you can use the v3 connector and then you can uh, use it for any number of length depending on your how you have set up your pay as you go plan now if you go in microsoft azure portal then here you will see whole bunch of uh, language services so let me just type in language and here we have language understanding cognitive service for language and then there is a translator so as you see over here well like you have this uh, free services 2 million characters as zero tier which is of free you can use it uh, when you uh, provision your azure resource as a part of free trial but then if you want more advanced uh, capacity then you can anyways go ahead and buy more advanced subscription so these are the different option if you want to use uh, various language translation services using power automate 
Uh, so what we have seen, we have seen like we have a an action called as get languages, whereby we can parse through the languages which are supported, uh, detect the language of uh, the text which you uh, input through Power Automate, and also you can translate the text into different languages. So that's it, folks. This is all about Microsoft Translator V2 services. Thanks for watching.